So this is my uh, homemade clean marking method. So what I did, I took these two Dixie cups and I cut out some squares from the top. And you can see in there, I got, I captured the queen, put her in. You can see that little white dot that appears once in a while. That's the white, I used white water-based um, acrylic paint with a toothpick, or sorry, a Q-tip, and just uh, marked the queen while after, after I captured her um, in one of the cups. So I just sort of squeezed the cup down gently so as not to harm the queen, um, and then and then put a dab of white paint on her on her uh, back, so uh, I can spot that queen much more easily now. So I'll give it a couple minutes, and I'll, I'll reintroduce her back into the hive. And uh, won't doesn't hurt the queen, just helps the beekeeper to um, find the queen because you can imagine. I see that queen running around in there. You can imagine a hive like that, absolutely packed full of bees, trying to locate the queen, going frame by frame. It's really hard. So marking the queen like this just uh, just um, makes it much easier. So I'm going to put this queen back in. You'll see her pop out and she'll climb right back into that hole, I hope. So there she'll come out. I'll put her over here so I can get a good little video of the queen coming out of her, uh, her hole. And she's heavy and rolling it around. Come on, queen. There she is. Come on. All right, I'll have to just, oh, there she comes. See, she's nice and marked. And she'll crawl back into the hive, I hope. Queen. This is the uh, Canucks Queen. She's a really good layer. And you can see, I can see what she's trying to um, <laughs> scrape off that paint, but not much to, not much you can do now. All right, I'm gonna gently pop her back in. Come on. Come on. I'll nudge her along here. Come on, Queen. There she goes, back into the hive. Okay, so that's uh, the Canuck Queen done, and I'll move on to the Badger Queen right now. So it's it's apparent as to why you need to mark your queen. Um, you know, you can try and locate the queen in there, but it's it's not too hard, but it does take some time. So if, it's, if she's marked with that white dot, um, I can easily easily locate her. And this is an experiment. This was my uh, foundationless frame. You can see what they've done. This was the um, empty frame that has no backing, no foundation to it. So the bees have made a really nice, uh, um, uh, they've drawn very nice comb on this. And I'm really happy. I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to um, just build some, weave some, uh, not on this one, but weave some fishing line through here just to create a little bit of support so that um, when I maneuver the frame, it doesn't, uh, doesn't um, potentially fall off. I got this second queen, now I'm going to mark her. I'll just get a little bit of uh, little bit of white paint. You can see I've got her the little head exposed right there. Just put a little drop on. There, that's all I need. She's done. Oh, the bee's getting out. <laughs> Luckily, it's not the queen that got out, it's a worker. So the queen, you can see her walking around inside. And you'll see the white spot while that bee is uh, exploring. You can see the white spot right in the middle. Get in the middle there. There's there's the spot. So I'll let that dry for a few minutes, and then I'll pop the queen back in. So this is the the badger hive. Sorry, uh, yeah, the badger hive. The queen's a great layer. She's about a month old, and she's been laying huge. I'm just going to insert her back in. So you should see her crawl out any second. There she is. Come on, queen. There she goes. Right back in. Okay. 